So let us start with this particular project where we'll be selecting a place for a specific need and we'll estimate and we'll go for the code and we'll estimate the cost of that price line. And in your chapter two exercise folder, you'll be getting one file called price line cost estimating. And here you can see a couple of different factors which I'll be uh, showing you here. The first of all, we'll be starting with the material properties and inside material properties, we'll be looking at the primary, the ultimate tensile strength, elastic modulus and the cost per kg for that material, whatever the material and the scrap values, uh, the dollar per kg and the thickness that all you have to put it here and the specific gravity uh, which you have to put it and these are the designated values and material cost here you can see area of the sheet surrounding parts and area of the actual part and gross volume of the sheet and volume of scrap and once you specify this we'll go to the die set cost and part of sharing dies its perimeter of the punch and length of the punch envelope width of the punch envelope punch plate areas ultimate tensile strength and rounded to the this particular values which you can see here the rounded to the nearest 18 inch and that factor you can give next is the die plate correction factors here if you want to see you can see the particular headings and profile complexity what is the factor of the profile complexity this all yellow areas which you can see you can specify here the total manufacturing points you can see these are the you can see are formula driven so directly if you see somewhere it is formula driven then these are not for you so all this you cannot edit it wherever the formula driven is not there those are yellow highlighted which we can see which you can enter manually and die set cost piercing dies its complete parameter and processing cost sharing press piercing press and so on so once you update this you will be getting this production quantity as well and here you can see the production quantities for that and overall the profit from that in dollar usd and all these parameters once you specify here already we have entered that and then you go for the independent split operations like the punch and die cost sharing die cost its perimeter to be shared length of part and block width of the part and block and so on and once you specify this yellow highlighted area these will be estimated basically these are formula driven and once you estimate this then we'll go to the bending and forming operations then the press break and the piercing and processing cost metal cost independently the gross volume of the sheet volume of the scrap area of the actual part etc will be considered here and once you consider that this will be done and once you change anything all will be updated let us say the perimeter instead of 25 you are updating to 45 then corresponding values will be updated you can see the plan area will be updated like that all are interdependent and you can fit those values as per your requirement and then the price cost and let us say this I am operating to 150 and once you update this all the dependent parameters for that will be influenced and that you can update this also and here you can see this will be updated the price cost and once let us say I will go for 200 and this will be immediately updated and so on and the total cost will be the price cost and the cost of the material for the punch and die set will be shown here and the grand total will be shown here and sheet metal manufacturing cost and like that you will be having for the braces sheet metal manufacturing cost for that particular material the punching and dies and so on and here you can see the number of total 
production volume and let me just go for the general so that you can see this and here you can enter that number also maybe 50,000 and here you can see the punch and die set cost and if I am increasing this to 1 lakh and that will be reduced and that all is available in your this exercise chapter 2 folder and the price cost also accordingly each and every parameters are considered that you have to play around and all are formula fitted and for the piercing price the bending price and the sharing price all are calculated and that total cost will be accordingly computed and total cost here you can see for the particular unit and the part count how many numbers are there how many legs are there braces all will be totaled and based on that you will be getting that and weight also will be calculated accordingly for each of those parts which are calculated here and one important aspect while coating we used to face that if you go for the sheet metal strapping maybe progressive compound or larger particular line dies or other type that you can do it here so whatever the block areas there that you need to fit let us say number of working stations you have to specify so before that I'll just go for the estimated volume I'm just uh, expecting 50,000 parts per minute I'm just uh, looking for 100 and part name let us say ABC1 and based on that my price requirement whatever the types you have that you can select here let us say I'll go for the progressive type and number of stations I'm expecting 15 and non-working stations will be 3 and based on that this will be updated and estimated cost of different material is starting with the values which so here you can write down the material name different material the coil and the tool material and once I'll update this it will show the total values here $850 and based on that for the progressive or compound or large scale that will be updated or the carbide type based on that it will be updated and once you have done that here you can see the estimated part development cost percentage applied I'll be applying 20% and estimated tool engineering cost I'll be applying 20% as well and this will be the subtotal and cost of sales commission I'll be looking at 2% to the sales person I'll be giving and margin will be expecting 11% and discount will be giving in the worst case 1% and here you can see the total estimated cost and when you go to the price code here the all entered targeted estimated volume is interpreted here but here you have to specify the material let us say my material is I am looking at steel and its density will be interpreted my length here I am looking for 250 mm and width is 100 and thickness is let us say 2 mm and gross weight is calculated material cost per pound is let us say 3.5 dollars and material cost per piece in one to enter and margin and markup percent is 11 and labor burden parts per minute already we have decided 100 hourly labor rate including let us say $45 and machine hourly burden rate is let us say $20 and efficiency we are looking at 80% and based on that this will be evaluated and other associated cost like the secondary operations I am just going for $2 packaging $1 and handling and maintenance $1.5 and post finishing $1 let us say so that all $5.5 will be added and based on that this will be there so if you just remove let us say this so this minutely will change so this you have to see so secondary operation all just roughly I gave it so it will something about let us say hundred dollar packaging is let us say we are expecting 
1000 dollar and handling and maintenance let us say 500 dollar and post finishing let us say 250 dollars and secondary operation let us say 1000 dollars so this will be added exactly the real cost and based on that the margin percentage and margin percentage is let us say 11 percent and cost of sales will go for 1.5 percentage and based on that you can see the 865 dollar and the margins you can directly count and this is the unit price which you have to quote so like this you can use and next time when you quote you can directly go for the blank form and here also you can go to the blank form so that you can re-enter and calculate again so hope this whole calculations and the selecting the particular process and estimating will help you in understanding thank you